True story. We live in a building on Wilshire. So you park your car on the valets down there and so I'm already in the building. I'm coming through the lobby. Go over. This TV wonder. He comes in, says, what's up, Shaq? <laughs> Presses the button. Hold oh, it, true story. Presses the button, gets up on the floor, buys stuff, goes to the room. I went and called every person I knew and told the story. They believe me. Oh, bro, he got on the elevator. He's like, what's up, Shaq? How you doing, big dog? <laughs> big dog. And man, yes, he did. Yep. What y'all don't know, Stevie can see. Stevie can see. It's just an act. He can see. Stevie can see. I go over to his house, and he says, I got a record. He pulls a cassette out. Cassette. For all of your know. A cassette is a, forget about it. So, anyway, so he pulls the cassette and he says, come go with me in the car. He goes out to the car and he goes on the driver's side. <laughs> and and, and I, he said, get it on the passenger side. I get it on the passenger side. And then he puts the cassette in, he cranks the car up and he goes and puts it in reverse and starts down the driveway. He's going down the driveway. I said, Stevie. He goes, I got you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, all, I do all this shit in front of Stevie, so don't look, don't look, no. Stevie does some shit to me. Let me tell you about the time he came up to the radio station when I was on the beat out here. Stevie was supposed to be performing live or, or doing keyboards, and he was late. And I just bought this brand new truck called, called the Lincoln Room a long time ago. I'm on the radio, I get a phone call. It's Stevie Wonder. I say, yo, Stevie, where you at, man? You're supposed to be here. Now, I'm on 19th floor. On Wilson doing my radio show. I said, Stevie, where you at? He said, I'm here, man. Just pulling up. I said, well, you can't drive. He said, oh, yes, I can. Look out the window. This motherfucker was in my new truck with the windows down, and it was moving real slow, and the motherfucker was waving. I'm on stage with Chris Tucker and Johnny Gill. Chris Tucker and I are Johnny Gill's background dancers. Stevie walks on stage, walks to me, looks me dead in my eyes, says, Anthony, get me to a piano. I was like, Stevie, well, hell, if you just walked to me, you could have walked to the piano. He caught himself. He caught himself and had to play it off. And so I took him to the piano and he played. Did you challenge Stevie Wonder to a basketball game? Uh, for any, he won. He won. He won. He, he won. Honest, he won. Okay. Buy me a few planes and be oh. able to fly them. Oh, wow. You be fly, you'd fly them yourself? I flew a plane once in a... Well, actually twice. How'd you I go? I actually landed the plane. So it's a long time. Yes. I'm telling you, have him on the show. Put stuff in his way. I bet you he step over. Put stuff in his All way. All right. Tell me, Stevie. Stevie. Come here. Stevie, gonna do this. Stevie, gonna be... Please join us. Please, Stevie, please join us.